everything that's happened in Ferguson, a major local police chief is reviewing everything her department does, from the most basic traffic stop to an officer's use of deadly force. Kansas City, Kansas Police Chief Ellen Hansen says her department is on the verge of launching a major courtesy campaign. KBC's Eli Rosenberg is live in KCK after talking with Hansen. We'll call this policing after Ferguson, where everything, including if officers should wear a bulletproof vest outside their uniform, is up for review. Chief Hansen tells me this is all a wake up call, one her department is using as a teachable moment. There is no police officer that comes to work and says, I hope today's the day I get to shoot somebody. KCK police heading out for the evening shift. These officers are not going there to referee a bridge tournament. You know, it's serious stuff. The dangers of police work are no secret, but post Ferguson, everything is under review. For me, Ferguson provided a wonderful opportunity for us to reflect on how prepared are we. That review led to this long meeting. Unified government commissioners meeting with police chief Ellen Hansen. Ferguson was a hot topic. I thought it was imperative that we do what we can in our community to at least minimize the risk that that could occur here. So this is what you can expect to see on... Image is a big thing, Chief Hansen says, but in the end, every officer, including these headed out to work this evening, deserve to get home safe. I want my officers to be tough when they need to be tough, but I think this is an opportunity for us to remind each other not every person uh, needs that tough approach. Chief Hansen says her department is also reviewing whether to buy body cameras for officers to wear. As the mayor here said this evening, if it prevents one lawsuit or major event, it is money well spent. Live in KCK, Eli Rosenberg, K KMBC 9 News. It's been in the works for months, but getting new attention post Ferguson, a movement by KCK to create more diversity in the police and fire departments. Now, you can see right now that Hispanics and blacks each make up almost a third of the population. But when you look at the police department, just more than one of every 10 officers is of color, and on the fire department, it's less than one in 10.